Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial, this time showing you how to take your photos and make them look as if they've been watercolored. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is revert my image here by hitting F12. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my background layer, click and drag it down to the new layer icon. I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer to Blur. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Smart Blur. I'm going to set a blur at around 10 and a threshold at 30. This varies depending on what size your image is. So this works for me. Click OK. Now you can see that it kind of blurred out some areas here. It made the lines a little bit more smooth, adding more to the effect. So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this background layer once again. Drag it up to the top and I'm going to rename this layer Outlines. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Stylize, glowing edges and I'm gonna set the edge width at 1 edge brightness 12 15 for the smoothness click OK again that varies depending on the size of your image now the image looks kinda of weird so we're going to go to image adjustments invert to invert that then I'm going to go back to image adjustments desaturate to desaturate that now it looks like you've uh, sat there and drew this out this method comes really in handy especially when you have some kind of art class you don't really know how to draw. Alright, so for this outlines layer, I'm going to go ahead and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. Then I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit to around 80%. And you can see that it added those lines back for us, which is nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this blur layer right here. Click and drag it down to the new layer icon. We got a blur copy. We're going to rename this copy painting. And what I'm going to do to this layer is go to image adjustments, invert. Then I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to color dodge. All right, so now that we've got that done. Oh, we, somebody spilled ketchup and mustard over here. Um, I'm going to go into the brush tool. Be sure that the foreground color is set to black. Then we're going to open up the brush preset window. We're going to choose a kind of a hard dry brush here. I'm going to choose this one for now. Increase the brush size with the right bracket key, decrease it with the left. So I'm going to increase it a little bit here. Make sure to set the opacity at around 10%. And then I'm just going to simply go across here just like this. And you're probably wondering, huh, that, that really looks bad, but it's okay because we're painting and you know this is the beginning steps we're taking baby steps to creating our masterpiece so the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the brush presets here click this little arrow here go down to wet media brushes and then click OK when this comes up you might also get another window that says if you want to save the current preset you could just click no because all you have to do is go back to this arrow and reset brushes to bring the defaults back. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose this watercolor textured surface preset here. And then I'm going to go ahead and increase the brush size here a little bit. And let's set the opacity back to 50%. And to add to the realisticness of this photo, we can always leave some uh, white spots. That just paint in some things as if you were really watercoloring. And you can tell that the way this brush draws is just like painting. So, And you can go over certain areas to add more depth if you want. You can go over here, paint in that little car. I may not be doing the best job, but it's okay. It works. Let's add some more depth in here. And when you do overlap, it overlaps just like watercolors do. And uh, we don't really have to do the street or the sky. We can do the sky, a little bit of the sky. Like, oops, I just spilt my blue paint all over, but it landed in the right spot. And then here's a little bit of the street if you want that. All right, so I agree it's not the best watercolor painting out there, but you get the idea. After we've done that, we're going to go ahead and duplicate our original layer here. Click and drag it down. Then I'm going to rearrange this all the way to the top. I'm going to rename this as Details. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Artistic, 
watercolor. Now, of course, Photoshop has a watercoloring effect already, but it's not as good as what we're doing right now. Uh, I'm going to set the brush detail at around 12, 0 for the shadow intensity, and 3 for the texture. Click OK. And now we got this. So what we want to do is set the blending mode from normal to luminosity. And we're going to bring the opacity down. Now, it depends on how you want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and stick with around 30% or so. And then we can also add an adjustment layer, levels, and play around with these levels. Increase the, uh, the brightness and so on. So there you go. How to watercolor your images in Photoshop. Now that I sit back and look at mine, it, it, looks, it looks pretty much how, how my real watercoloring images would turn out to be. Uh, except I wouldn't be able to do any of this here. So anyway, there you have it. Watercoloring in Photoshop. You can follow me on Twitter at Rob's Productions. Visit the site robertsproductions.net. If you have any questions, email me at the links in the description. You can like me on Facebook. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for weekly tutorials just like this one. If you want to request tutorials, go ahead and look in the description for that link to request tutorials or leave a comment here on this video. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.